this thing on. We're gonna do a day in the life of an engineer. Uh, just woke up this morning. And since we are in this COVID shutdown, this is my office in my bedroom. And I've been inspired to make a day in the life video of an engineer based on this channel I just found, Michael Yu, I think. So we're gonna get started here, logged in. I've been going through some emails. Um, and one of the points with engineering is a lot of communication and organi organizing information with, between clients and project managers, getting the deadlines and schedules established, getting the overall project moving forward. That's the goal. We need our information to do our designs. And then as a engineering principal, um, you're gonna be managing a lot of the business operations employees. Um, we were hiring a new engineer next week. We're getting his computer set up and his office set up this afternoon. My schedule, I work here at home in the mornings and then I work, go to the office in the afternoons. Today I've got some site visits, so I'm not gonna be able to get to the office today in the afternoon. So what I'm doing, I'll be working on proposals. I gotta get information on projects to price them correctly with clients. We're gonna be doing some hair salons, I think, or it's a nail salon here in Denver. We got look at the existing building and see what we need to upgrade. And we work, that's with a contractor um, who will be the client this afternoon. But just getting started this morning, yeah, I basically, I exercise at night now. Well, I have been. And I've been waking up at 7 a.m., getting started at 7.30. Yeah, I probably should take a, you know, get out, have a shower get up, make breakfast, have a shower, but I don't have time. I roll out of bed, make coffee, and I'm logging in. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, engineers get a bad rap for being autistic. That's understandable since it's such a mentally taxing job, I would say. You're stuck on a screen all day looking at numbers, figures, spreadsheets, emails, taking calls. You're, uh, you can't really relate to the normal human. The normal human's mind could not handle a typical day in, in an engineering job. There's just simply too much going on. So therefore, when we do try to socialize, we don't put much of an effort into it and we come across as, you know, it's a lower priority for our brains, I would estimate. So we come off as, Awkward, for example, drinking out of um, metal containers. I try to drink a gallon of water every day. Personally, I am into fitness and health. Right now, I have a broken hand due to a jiu-jitsu injury. And just overdoing it a little bit there. But um, try to stay hydrated. Try to avoid the, the sauce. Try to keep your mind fresh for the work day. And you don't um, have any slip-ups. You don't get yourself into more trouble than you can handle. Engineers, we are uh, socially isolated folk and socially awkward, as previously discussed. We, um, well, at least for myself, I do like to get out and socialize when I can, but in my experience, we've got a bad history and a bad uh, outlook on relationships with the uh, with the, the fairer sex, we uh, frighten them. They see us as potential liabilities or uh, we're not worth their time, which we are. It's a good career. It can provide for a family, a small family, um, but it's getting harder and harder due to the cost of living in the United States. So we, um, in my experience, you you get divorced quick, you move on and you you uh, you keep your savings and your money to yourself because there's uh, there's better things to do. So I'm working on a proposal for a a unique design. It's a kitchen suite place, multiple kitchens. We're estimating about 18. We don't have specific site plans yet, so we're going to be looking at a prototype design from a previous location. Yesterday I was out at the building. We got some notes. I determined the water entry and the gas service to the building, and we're figuring out some preliminary questions that we need to get answered by the cons the uh, our client. We, we're trying to find a grease interceptor location and kind of the general hood arrangement for all the commercial cooking 
you know, there's going to be potentially up to 18 commercial type one hoods in the space. So how I do a, a uh, proposal, I'll break down the square footage of the different space types. And, you know, we look at it kind of as a cost per square foot based on historical pricing we've done. We'll also do a system breakdown for uh, system design pricing. And then we also do an hour estimate per discipline. And we, we um, I, as the mechanical principal, I'll consult with the plumbing principal and the electrical principal to arrive at a, a generally accepted price that will be profitable and worth our time to do. So that's kind of the process we go through here. Oh God! Um, we'll do spreadsheets, lots and lots of spreadsheets. So we've got the different disciplines up here, mechanical, plumbing, electrical. I prototype the space, um, different cost per square foot. I'm gonna extract the areas from some floor plans the client sent to us and our site photos. Okay, so it's about 10.30 this morning and losing a little bit of steam. We're going through our task list. That's another important thing as an engineer. You've gotta constantly be checking tasks off your list. I finished the proposal for a large kitchen space. I think we're going to get a good fee for that one. And hopefully we get that turned around pretty quick. But um, going down the task list. Working on some calculations for a client. This is a interesting one. Uh, you're just constantly bouncing around from project to project as a mechanical engineer in this industry. And so this is an interesting project. Um, I'm doing it for an architect, actually works here in my city and I'm going to kind of model it a little bit on my project that I want to do to my house. So they're building a big addition in the back of the house, renovating it. They had to do asbestos abatement, about 20 grand to pull the asbestos out of this house, but it's in a nice neighborhood, so it's definitely worth it. And they're going to go for the long-term investment on the mechanical systems. I convinced them to go with the radiant uh, hot water system and we're going to do uh, fan coil cooling and then two speed exhaust fan for ventilation in the restrooms. Right now I'm doing area takeoffs on the windows. You got to do the uh, manual J calculations to show energy compliance with the city's review. That's now a standard requirement here in Denver unfortunately. So we're Flipping through the pages, getting our elevation profiles, our window areas, and then I will get the material information. That's got to be a door, so that's actually... So yeah, bouncing from task to task. There we go. Time to make some more coffee. Got to get through the next couple hours before I head out to a site visit after lunch. So instead of coffee, I'm going to do a coconut elderberry concoction. Good, good shit. Listening to my trash electronica. Packing up the bags, um, gonna head out and do a site visit here this afternoon. Finally getting out, it's about noon. Grab some lunch on the way up. We're gonna look at a new nail salon space and then get some photos and notes for this new project. As I'm heading out the door, I'm also bringing with me my running stuff. So hopefully I can get out for a run this afternoon. And we're gonna go to uh, Grab something to eat here. All right, so I was able to pick up lunch and we're gonna be on time for the one o'clock site visit here in the Denver area. Some recordings of this. Okay, so I met the contractor up here. We're gonna change this hair, hair, hair cleaner into a uh, nail salon. Looks like they're gonna have some stiff competition here. Um, we're looking for a clean out. There's the contractor there. Um, 
trying to figure out where the sanitary line leaves the building. So on these surveys, you gotta find the electrical service. We got into the electrical room, got the meters. It was up on the roof there. Figured out the water service. They got an inch and a half packs. But I am not finding the sanitary. We'd be at the low point of the site down there near that gas station. What's the investigation? Stopping to use the bathroom here on the site visit. I needed to get some Red Bull too. Since we're gonna be working the rest of the afternoon non-stop. So I'm gonna try this coconut Red Bull and then we go back to the office, upload photos. I'm gonna stop by another project actually downtown. Just kind of check in real quick, see what the progress is with the construction. On my way to the next project over here are the green towers. And uh, we're gonna go do some commissioning work. Luckily, there's a lot of construction going on, so I'm gonna hit up two sites this afternoon and then try to finish some proposals. So I'm here at the project. We're going up, uh, gonna do some commissioning. So basically what we're doing is checking up all the equipment, make sure it's installed for the company as the design. Check the whole town here. Gonna do these uh, smoke control steroid pressurization. God, they need to paint that. Oh, check out the RTUs. We were down there before. So the chillers still haven't been started up. I'll need to check in and do the commissioning there. Oh. Got about a minute left on the desk. So the about all you can do today up here and nothing's really running yet so head back in so we're making our way back to the home office this afternoon and we're gonna follow up on some emails and try to get some proposals out that's the plan after the site visits got to drive and then you get back to work so I'm back and I'm going through the emails after the site visits this afternoon and we've got, okay. So I got two, three new requests for proposals this afternoon. One for a brewery, one for a high school and one for a condo. So I got to work those up for tomorrow. It's 4.30 tonight. So they're not going to get the fees tonight. We'll, we'll work on that in the morning. And now I'm going to upload the pictures that we took at the site visits and go through the emails. And that's kind of, the, that's a full day. And then after that, I'm going to call it quits and we start our production again tomorrow. Well, that's a day in the life of a mechanical engineer. All right.